5's Vince Norman explains tonight the film may be only 16 minutes long, but its content was 15 years in the making. In 1994, the city of Jupiter considered closing the beach to dogs. One of the things that bothers people about having dogs on the beach is that people don't pick up after their dogs. Back then, actions taken by a group of friends of Jupiter Beach saved the coast for the canines. And documentarian Cindy Lenz was eager to tell their tale. Her recent film, The Garbage of Jupiter Beach, tells the story of one woman's determination and a group of friends following in her footsteps. Danita Lanclair. And she, it was her and about nine friends. They started this little group. And they went to the city and they said, look, if you let us keep our dogs on the beach, we'll clean the beach up for you. Lankler started a movement that would grow well beyond its humble beginnings to include over 15 zip codes across the county. Now, a few years ago, Nita died and the group still goes strong. There are about, I think, about 4,000 people right now that grew from the nine people. Now, once a month, hundreds of people make the trip to Jupiter to pick up trash. Meanwhile, Cindy's film nabbed a Best Green Short Award at the Delray Beach Film Festival. I think a lot of documentaries, there are, there are a lot of victims. I think in my particular film, it's about people who are actually out there doing things. The Garbage of Jupiter Beach is currently in consideration at 18 film festivals. And Cindy's waiting to hear back from two more. In Jensen Beach, Vince Norman, WPTV, News Channel 5.